That's me surfing Nazare. I caught one wave before smashing my face and breaking my nose. I'll tell you how it happened, but we can't start the story here. Let me take you back a couple days. I flew all the way out to Portugal to film Toby. Uh, he was going to wear the host Stevie wetsuit. I don't know if that's happening now, but we got some bombs at Nazare. Jacuzzi surfer. Oi! And uh, it's cold and it's big. So these power lines are a little bit tricky to film through. Probably gonna go down to the lighthouse. Oh man. It looks so small on this camera, you guys, but it's big. All right, I'm putting this thing down in the street. Just crash it for the vlog. 4%. Are you serious? Uh-huh. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Look at that. Three <laughs> percent. Beat that, Netflix. You <laughs> caught that caught that so fast. Jacuzzi's got all his batteries charging just on a loop. He'll fly one out, uh, get one, catch one wave per battery, bring it back, throw it on the charger, send it out again. There's all this pollen coming from the pine cones. And it gets uh you can't see it. It gets all over our socks when we had our socks up here. I'll kick a pine cone and show you. Um, so, yeah, not a lot of waves going on. Um, or not a lot of waves being ridden. Toby's still downstairs. This is Toby's house. And uh, he's... We've been here for a couple hours now. He's uh, planning out his mission, I guess. There's one. Oh. But yeah, so not as good of conditions as we hoped for today, but it's really big. I think I'm gonna go down to the cliff, or the lighthouse, and set up the land rig, and go explore down there for a little bit. Bye. Somewhere along the way, I lost the dead cat, I think it's called, the fuzzy part of the microphone. So, the audio might not be as crispy now. I'm coming up. So back at the house, uh, I spent a couple hours, I believe, out there. I think it's like noon or one o'clock right now. Toby just went down to go. You gotta go like, uh, it's a long story. You gotta go way over there to the marina, take the jet ski out to get there. So Heidi is spotting for him. Toby is taking the ski out with Martin. It started out really slow. There was nobody out there when we got here this morning. And now there's like 15 jet skis, tons of people on the cliff, and it finally warmed up, so it's pretty good right now. Uh, I'm gonna fly the drone until I run out of batteries and uh, see if we can make the magic happen with that. when you fly your drone all day here in Nazare. That's salt. Nice, get me a pretzel. Oh, yummy. It's just <laughs> everywhere. 
these things are disposable after uh, <laughs> a couple of trips to Nazareth. That's why you had to throw your other one. Yeah, God, that thing is caked. Later that same evening. All right, and here is the beautiful boardwalk of Nazareth. Much like Mission Beach, do you see the resemblance? Exactly like Mission Beach. Except if you ride a skateboard on that cobble, you'll probably die. Mm, that's no fun. <laughs> what kind of boardwalk makes it out of cobblestone? All right, guys, it's day two of the second full day. Uh, out of three full days here in Portugal. Today, we're going to Super Tubos. It's like half the size of yesterday uh, at Nazare. So we're gonna go check out Super Tubos. Uh, apparently there's a contest next week, so all the pros are gonna be here. Um, I still don't have a surfboard, so I brought my wetsuit and board shorts. I'm either gonna jump in with one of those to get wet, and then maybe Toby's gonna potentially set me up to tow in at Nazare tomorrow when it's even smaller. Because I'm not trying to die out there, but I am trying to catch a bomb. So, we'll see what happens with that. It's also Carnival today, uh, where the men dress up as ladies and the streets go crazy. <laughs> so, we're gonna go film some pros, jump in the water, come back and maybe party tonight, and uh, we'll see where the day takes us. Got some barrels. Really wish I had a board now. It's not too big here. It looks pretty perfect. So uh, we're setting up camp right here for a little film session. This is our new friend Lucas, master drone guy. Yeah. All right, so we're back from Super Tubos. I'm gonna give you a little house tour. Um, basically, we filmed there for a few hours. Italo ran over, no, this guy like ditched his board in front of Italo. He ran it over, broke his board somehow. Um, so that was entertaining. Good waves. This is the house. Um, jacuzzi set up this, uh, so we get to stay in this pretty cool place. Got all the, uh, batteries charging on one converter. Because Europe does their power different. So, thought I'd show you guys what it's all like here. Jacuzzi's room with the bathroom. They do their toilets different here too. Let's see. We got a... Uh, it's a little different style than the American, you know? A little bit more square, and you got a deep dish hole going down there. And then, where the magic happens, <whistles> looking good. And then, uh, got Pablo, Luis, and uh, Noel in that room. They're working on their breath work now. I'm hoping uh, tomorrow I can tow into some waves at Nazare. I didn't have a board uh, to go out to Super Tubos, but it looked super fun. And uh, I'm hoping Toby will take me out on the ski tomorrow at Nazare. It uh, should be around 15 feet, maybe. So I think I can do that. Um, we should actually go check it. Um, there's a little bit of sunlight left. And we thought Carnival was happening. We thought it was gonna get crazy uh, with people in the streets, guys dressing up as ladies. And it actually uh, is not too busy right now. It was way busier yesterday when the big waves were here. So we'll see what we get into tonight. 
but really hoping to go uh, tow surfing tomorrow. Well, apparently today is the day I'm going big wave surfing. Toby says he's gonna tow me into a wave. Uh, it's gotten a lot smaller, but I think it's still like 15 to 20 feet. It's really hard to tell when you're just looking at it from the cliff. So we'll see how big it is once I actually get out there, but uh, I'm probably not gonna bring a GoPro. Jacuzzi's going to film me with his drone, uh, hopefully, and uh, getting towed in. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. So Toby was gonna wear the wetsuit, um, the host TV wetsuit, I sent him one. He was gonna wear it on the big day, but he had to put like, he said it fits him really good, but he had to put a vest underneath because he wears two vests. Um, so he had to wear like a bigger wetsuit so that he could fit one of the flotation vests underneath it. So he didn't wear it. I'm gonna wear it, uh, my host TV wetsuit today. Give it the Nazare test. The mobile office. Panda, panda, panda. Yeah, it's two of us. I, I never thought I'd be a big wave surfer either. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> How should I be feeling? I'd be definitely scared right now. Really? Yeah. You think I can hold my breath long enough? Yeah. If I go down? The plan is just to not fall. I'm not taking the GoPro out. Oh, you're not taking it's, that thing? I'm just vlogging with this thing. Are you? I'm not going to have a... I don't want any, like, unnecessary distractions in my hand or in my mouth really? with a GoPro. But I hate having unnecessary distractions. <laughs> it was so big. Air, air. See that? Oh. What? Ooh. What? And then I'm like <laughs> another drop. Ugh. It was so bumpy. Are you nervous for us, Heidi? I'm jealous. Uh, Give me one of these plaques. <laughs> <laughs> hey everyone, welcome to Crypto Tips. It's your boy Toby right now. <laughs> Smash like! Smash like! Alright, so what do I gotta know? How do I uh, survive out there? Um, you do everything I tell you to do. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be fine. Mm -hmm. That's the plan. C consider it like, it's, Nazare is a mix between Mission Beach, PB, Mission Bay Jetty, and um, like blacks. <laughs> so, you know, if you can surf those places, Nazare is easy. Uh, easy, easy. All right. Wait, is there any training though? <laughs> like, <laughs> no. What I'll do is um, I'll uh, I'll have you practice getting on the sled. Uh huh. Okay. So like after, so I'm like, gonna give you a, I'm gonna give you a vest to put over it, so you're not gonna be able to see host TV. Okay. Okay. All right. I have to put a vest on you. It's still the wetsuit, you yeah. guys. But so like, what? How do I know when to get like up? Because I'm not gonna be like standing the whole time, right? Yeah, I'll tell you, like, all right, let's get up. And so... And then it's hard getting up like a wakeboard? Yeah, so what you do is kind of like, like this. You're kind of like, you're kind of like holding the shortboard to, okay. your, to, your, to your feet, you mm -hmm. know? Like this with one, with one arm. And then once I... So you're holding the rope right here, and you're holding the board like this. Then once I put, like, tension on the board, then it's... Then it's... Yeah. Your feet are planted. Then you can grab both, both sides. And okay. Right. So it's actually really fast. Mm -hmm. You can get up really fa way faster than than you can on a, on a tow board. Oh, okay. Yeah. Why? Because on a tow board you're having to put your feet in the straps, getting all centered. Whereas this, mm -hmm. you just grab like this, like oh go go, and then uh, put you up, and then. Boom. Cool. Yeah. So, you think you can do that? So then I do that, and then what? And then I I bring you up, and so then you just you know, you, you're riding, right? You're yeah. Sort of scurfing. Well, I've I've surfed behind a boat before, like oh, in Wisconsin. Oh, sick. So you know how to get up. Yeah. Oh. But then what? 99% but... of the work right there. Okay. Then, like this one. Like, for instance, so what I'll do is I'll follow the wave and then I'll, uh, I'll just like, uh, I'll, I'll give you a little extra push, give you little like, extra push yeah, on the, on the, for speed and stuff. So you'll know when to like go. Yeah. So it's, you're basically putting me where I need to be? Yes, or? I'm going to do all the work for you. Okay. All you need to do is just right go straight down the line. No, we'll, like, well fall, you know, ride it a little bit. Okay. You know, don't be super scared out here because it's, it's only like about 20 foot out here. So, okay. and then all you need to do is like, make sure that when you do kick off the wave, you look at me, don't look at the wave. Yeah. So, so if you're like, oh, there's a huge wave and I'm right here telling you get on the sled. Okay. You need to listen to me because yeah. I've got you 100%. I'm yeah. never going to let the wave hit you. Don't be distracted. Don't be distracted by the wave. What do I do with the board? 
you like, put it on to the sled. Okay. Underneath I'll, I'll practice beforehand. Okay. So I'm not taking the straps. Why do your boards weigh so much also? Do you put metal in these things? Yeah, so it's weighted uh, um, like lead pellets. Really? Yeah, because the wave is so fast and so bumpy out here that you're in the air a lot of the wave. If you see a lot of like big wave guys like out here towing in on like first peak, it's it's because uh, like you have to have a heavy board to keep your board um, pretty much stabilized. How much does it weigh? Um, I don't know what ten kilos is. It's in pounds. It's like twenty five pound. Twenty five pound board. Yeah. Nice. So, but this is a this is a lighter board. This is only like uh, six kilos. My other ones are. Yeah, I lifted one up over there with one hand. I could barely hold on. You want to see him right now? Yeah. Remember? So these, this is a, a Kevlar board. It's pretty much experimental board. Everything's experimental here in, in Nazare. Like everybody, all these boards pretty much aren't going to be used anywhere else in the world but Nazare. So this one, like you're not going to ride this at Jaws. Jaws doesn't get as big as out here and it's not as bumpy. So. You're not going to use that, but so we have this back fin, that's, which is really large, and it um, helps with turning, really, really tight turns it's when going down super fast and and while it's bumpy as well because it stays into in the water. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so we've been kind of experimenting with that, and yeah, this one's really heavy, but it's uh it's weighted to to where you know a, a lot of the weight is between the front and the back, and there's not much here. So it keeps you more balanced and stuff while, mm -hmm. while turning. And, um, and this is carbon fiber. This one's carbon fiber. Uh, so these are all my backups. So if this one goes into the rocks, I have this one. If that one goes into the rocks, I got that one. So I'm pretty much covered. And then um, this is the lighter tow board, but this would be good for like big chopo. So this would be like the perfect board for like either the right in Australia or, or chopo. And so it's got like this uh, bat tail right here which is really good. It acts as like another fin on the side. And it, and it, as long as you're on the rail, it turns like a dream. So it's really nice on like glassy giant waves here. So you can actually, because it's even, even though it's like lighter, you can still ride it in massive surf because the way it's built and the way this tail is, yeah, just glides. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then we have a shortboard, which I haven't even used in five months. I've not surfed a small wave in five months. This place is always huge. And then here's my step up eight, six, and then hide these boards. What's your big wave? Uh, 15 foot. Now you say it's 15 foot. It is. I think it's it was like foot. 10 max. That's a okay. big wave. You couldn't see me anymore. <laughs> that was pretty crazy. All right, let's beat that. Thank you. Yeah, how, uh, how grippy are we? Oh yeah, maybe it should put it post CD wax. Yeah, but I didn't bring it. Ah, now you're definitely gonna fall. <laughs> this crap. All right, thought I was filming, but I wasn't. We picked up a life jacket because safety first. All right, so we're gonna put our uh, put our vests on, but we've got the host EV suits. Look so at that! Highest <laughs> quality in San Diego. Uh, good enough to drop in on <laughs> Nazare Bomb. What is the water? It's similar to San Diego. It's saying like 57 to 59 degrees. Yeah, it's probably like... I think the air temps are a little colder. 55 to 57. Okay. So, I'm wearing the 4.3. <laughs> there we go. Okay, jump on. <laughs> yep, perfect. Do you nervous? Yep. You ready? Very. Just like black man. When I first saw a photo of this, I'm like, wow, it looks like epic black. <laughs> and then I realized, wow, it's so much more powerful than epic black. I don't even serve epic blacks, so. Yeah, I serve epic front Mission Beach. <laughs> so we thought today was gonna be the smallest day. Apparently it's bigger than yesterday. <laughs>
I uh, took a face plant into the ski. Not sure how bad this is, but it hurt. And we're going back. <laughs> uh, he's just trying to kill us even more, <laughs> smashing us into the wall. <laughs> yeah! Jeez. Net fishing nets. Uh. So that adds to the danger. Yeah. A lot of these nets go into the surface. Oh. Crazy. Yeah. Like when it's 80 foot and there's like surf fish nets everywhere. It's like crazy. So you have to wait for the fishing net to get washed in a little bit. So, uh, hopefully the nose isn't too bad. I'm gonna clean it up. Later. All right, guys, I'm ready to talk. Uh, as you can see, see, I've showered up and took all the, most of the blood off. I was a little scared that it was going to be bad. It's kind of bad. It's not too bad. It's just like a, a gash, like a V. I don't know how graphic we want to get here, but um, looks like it kind of went deep. So all I'm going to do is let it scab over and heal itself because that's what the body does. Let's talk about what happened. All right, so I got one wave. I'm officially a big wave surfer. I was, got towed in at Nazare. We just uh, re reviewed the footage and it, it only looks like it's a 15 foot wave. I was hoping we'd get something a little bit bigger, but that was just the warm up. And then that was the first wave. Didn't fall on it. I, I like stumbled a little bit halfway through because there's some like bumps on the face. Um, but I did it and then we were gonna go get like at least a couple more and then Toby decided to go on the inside and like test out or like he wanted Steve to get the shot of uh, like when the jet he's going up through the whitewash and stuff so I knew that he was gonna like trash me um, and I think I actually, I should have been laying down on the sled, but I, I was on my knees and holding on with my hands, and I think that's the problem. So anyways, like, he went over some bumps, and on one of them, I just smashed my face into the sled. And uh, luckily, I have all my teeth intact. I came out of that, and I was, like, feeling for my teeth first, and they're all there, but my nose hurt like crazy. Um, and so I, like, saw blood on my hands. Toby turns around. He's like, oh, are you okay? So, it was bleeding pretty bad. We got it cleaned up, it'll be fine. Hopefully. Hopefully I'm not scarred for life. But, uh, I'm a big wave surfer now. Wish I could've got like a 20 footer, a little bit bigger, and then that warm up wave. But, um, it was cool. That was like the scariest thing ever. It was really hard to, uh, to ride. Um, we took a regular board without straps. And to get going, you have to like put one hand on the board. Well, you probably saw what Toby did earlier, how he demonstrated it. It's a lot harder uh, in real life. And uh, we missed a couple waves because I couldn't um, get up in time. So yeah, it was just really hard to get up in the first place. And then once you're up, you're in like a squat. There's so much chop going on. And so you're just like in this little half squat position. And I got tired so fast. Um, so we had to like stand up right before a wave was coming because I didn't want to be like exhausted and then have a wave have me fall under a, a 20 foot wave um, so that was like kind of what we were trying to do it was a lot of work it was exhausting got the wave so I'm happy and uh, I didn't drown yay I think probably the only thing that kept me alive was my host Stevie wetsuit so good thing I was wearing that so I guess that's it um, that's our last day here we fly out tomorrow not going to do anything else with my nose like this. Uh, so, a pretty good way to end the trip. Um, thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Oh, Stevie.